and the cross shape of her face. And the sword? Come on! Come on, guys. Come on. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is an official trailer of The Last Duo, but this one is really not going to be a reaction. It's more going to be a review because I saw the trailer and I thought I decided to do a review on it because I want to show you guys this trailer and give you some feedback of why I think this movie should be known for you guys to watch this and to hear my thoughts about this movie. And this movie is called The Last Duo. Um, and it's a medieval movie that's with Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Ben Affleck, Jodie Comer, and it was, I saw this trailer when, um, so it was during the week when I had that guideline strike and I was not allowed to post anything for a week. So during that week, I went to see Free Guy with a friend of mine and during the previews of when we saw the movie, there was a movie called The Last Duel. And I have to say the trailer was really really cool and so just to give you a little brief summary of it so it's based off a book but it's also based on a true story that happened in around the 13th 14th century and it's about a woman that accuses her husband's friend of rape and the husband who is played by Matt Damon decides to you know to fight for his wife because nobody believes her and they think that she's making this up that Matt Damon's character um, puts agreement upon that he will do a duo with his friend who is accused of raping his wife who is played by Adam Driver so Matt Damon and Adam Driver have this duo you know a sword fight to the death and whoever wins it's the answer to what the truth is so if adam driver characters dies that means that the woman who is played by jodie comer she was telling the truth but if matt damon dies that means she'll be executed and be punished for false accusations and the reason why i want to show you guys this trailer even though i'm not going to really react on it like seeing this for the first time it's because i want to show you guys this trailer because it looks really good in a way and it looks so different compared to other medieval movies because I mean to me I'm not a big medieval movie I mean I like First Night, um, A Knight's Tale, Robin Hood, The Other Bull and Girl but this is really different and I don't know I don't know if it's just the story the cast or just the trailer in general is good but I just want to show you guys this trailer and then show you my point of view of this trailer and maybe Hopefully I hear your point of view of this trailer list. But anyway, let's get started. Just pay a close attention to one question that matters. To the trailer. Because it's really cool how you swear on your it's all put together. That what you say is true. The music, the colors, the theme of it, and I love the all the covers, like it shows her face. Like, look at that! I'm married. And this is also another Ridley Scott film. There's Adam Driver, and that's Matt Damon. That's Ben Affleck! That's just unbelievable to see him in blonde hair. I say before all of you, I spoke the truth. Jeez. A most unspeakable charge has been brought against you. Jacques Legree entered our home. He attacked me. The accusation is false. And the music is so intense. It makes this so intense. It does not matter. There is only the power of men. This should be settled quietly. I am innocent! I request a duel to the death. If you lose, your wife will suffer dire consequences. One of us has lied. Let us let God decide. You do not believe me. I am risking my life for you. You are risking my life so you can save your pride. 
very powerful line. Can you feel the intensity of this trailer? The penalty for bearing false witness is that you are to be burned alive. I will not be silent. And the cross shape of her face. And the sword? Come on! Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Tell me you do not like that trailer. That trailer did not make you so intense. It didn't make you excited. It didn't make you feel like, oh my god, I'm dying to know what the truth is. Okay, so that's the official trailer of The Last Duo. So that's the movie. Um, so I have to say, when the first time I saw this trailer, I was blown away of how good it was, you know? And like I said, I'm not a big fan of medieval movies, and I don't know, I think to this day, medieval movies are not really a big thing for people. But I don't know, I just think that this one is so different, and just th how the trailer was, the cast is incredible, the acting is stunning, and you know, the colors and the way Ridley Scott did this film, I believe it's going to be really, really good. And, you know, Matt Damon, it's even hard to tell him because he kind of doesn't look like Matt Damon, but you could tell on certain shots it looks like him. But it's, it's kind of interesting because he has a big scar on his face. Same thing with Ben Affleck. You know, Ben Affleck has like short blonde hair. So when I saw the trailer for the first time, I was like, who is that guy? He looks familiar. And then later on I found out it was Ben Affleck. I was like, wait, that's Ben Affleck? But, and also speaking of Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, not only they're in the movie, but they wrote the script. So they're the screenwriters of this movie, which I find that very interesting because I would never think they would write a movie about medieval times, you know, since they wrote Good Will Hunting. I would never expect that they would write a movie about the medieval days. But, but yeah, I just think this movie's gonna be really, really good. Um, I even have a feeling that this might be an Academy Award winning Golden Globe movie. You know, I believe this movie can be nominated for like, um, Best Picture. I think Ridley Scott might be um, nominated for Best Director, Jodie Comer for Best Actress, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck for Best Actors, and Adam Driver for Best Actor. I can even think that maybe this will be nominated for like best costume design, best makeup design. I don't know for best script, but but yeah, I could see that this movie can be nominated for so many things. But but yeah, I just think this particular medieval movie is going to be really really good. I just think this is a movie like you want to know what the truth is. You want to know what really happened. And you know and I, I, it's just even kind of funny that some people has mentioned like, you know, Adam Driver and Matt Damon fighting. It's going to be kind of like Kylo Ren versus Born Identity or Carol Shelby, you know? I think that would be kind of funny to see that kind of duo. But another thing is with the actress Jodie Comer, I think she's going to become really big after this movie because I just realized that, um... She's known for this show, Killing Eve, which I've never seen that show, but I've heard a lot about that show. And I think she's won for Best Actress in that show. And I just realized that she was also in that Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy, that I just saw. Which, that was a really, really good movie, and I might do a movie review on that movie soon, just to let you know. But yeah, I think she's going to become really big after this movie. Because now I know she's going to be in a lot of movies. She just in two movies in this year. So I think she's going to be really big in this movie. Um... But yeah, I just think I wanted to show you guys this trailer and tell you guys my thoughts about this movie. Because I think this movie is going to be really good. I just think the intensity of the story and the fight. And also, this is also a Me Too thing because she's accusing someone of rape and nobody believes her. So her husband, who is fighting for her, you know, that she's telling the truth, he will sacrifice his life even though it's kind of a risky thing because if he dies, she's going to be executed for false accusations. But he will fight for his wife to know what the truth is. That if he beats, if he kills his friend who is accused of raping his wife, then it will show the world that his wife was telling the truth. So, 
but yeah, this movie looks really, really good. I can't wait to see this movie. I believe it comes out on October 15th. I believe that's what it said. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the official trailer of The Last Duo, which comes out on October 15th. I can't wait to see it. And hopefully you guys get a chance to see it. And when you do, please leave comments of what you thought about the movie when it comes out in theaters. So yeah, that's all for today's re um, review, actually. So like my video, subscribe my channel, leave comments below what you thought about the video, and catch on to the next reaction video, and I'll see you later, guys.